What's going on YouTube? This is Ipsec, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and that is showing the new platform Hack the Box just launched called Academy. Historically, Hack the Box has always been about exploratory learning, meaning they present you a challenge, and it's up to you to teach yourself or find people to help you learn the techniques required to solve that challenge. I personally love this style of learning, as is very much what I'm required to do day to day in my job. I can't just not complete a task because someone hasn't taught me how to do it yet. It's up to me when I get a task I don't know how to solve to explore the internet or friendships in order to find the valuable piece of information to help me solve that task. However, this is not a great way to learn if you have no background in the subject to begin with. So this platform is designed to give people the jumpstart they need by offering a guided learning experience, which hopefully helps them gain the required knowledge to be efficient when doing exploratory learning. And for the experienced people out there, I think there's plenty of small nuggets of information from our personal experiences bundled into these courses, so hopefully you'll find value in that too. With all that being said, let's just jump in. In order to get started, just go to academy.hackthebox.eu and you'll be brought to this page. You can click sign up to create an account. Right now, there's no single sign on between Hack the Box and Academy. So you're going to have to create an account, which when you do, you'll get 30 cubes, which can be used to buy some classes. So create an account. And then when you're logged in, just click on dashboard and you'll be brought to your customized page. This to-do list is gonna be a list of everything you're working on, and then you can have a button here just to pick up right where you left off. To the right of that, there is completed modules. A module is like a class. So this is example of a module, the file inclusion slash directory traversal. And then a path is gonna be a collection of similar modules. So if we go over to this path, we can see there are three paths. We got a basic tool set cracking into HTB and Active Directory enumeration. So if we look at the basic tool set, this is going to be a collection of four modules. If we complete it using Nmap, login brute forcing, attacking web applications with Fuff, and cracking paths with Hashcat, we get credit for this entire path. In order to know what modules cost, we can go over to the purchase cube page. And tier zero modules are going to be free. So you can do all those right away with your 30 cubes. And when you complete a module, you get 20% of the cubes back, unless it's tier zero, which you get all the cubes back. But in order to buy cubes, you see you get a discount if you do a monthly payment plan. But if you just want to buy them on a one-time fee, it's essentially divide the number of cubes by 10, and that's how many dollars it's going to cost. So a thousand cubes is going to be $100. If you do it in a monthly plan, you get a discount. So $18 a month is a 10% discount. $38 is a 24% discount. And $68, you get a 32% discount on cubes. Keep in mind, this kind of does stack when you complete modules. You get 20% of the cubes back. So if a module costs a um, 1,000 cubes, which is $100, you complete that, you get 200 cubes back. And if you have those cubes at a discount, it's additionally more off. So just keep in mind those discounts kind of stack. Um, let's go over to the models and look at them. So let's go to tier zero and we can sort by fundamental, easy, whatever. I'm just going to leave all the sorting on all and tier zero. These are going to be the modules you can do without paying a dime. Every module costs 10 cubes, but when you complete it, you get 10 cubes back. So these are the modules that you can do for free. Attacking web apps with Fuff, uh, Windows Fundamentals, JavaScript deobfuscation, Web Request, the LFI module, Intro to Academy, and Learning Process. Tier 1, currently there's just Nmap, that is 50 cubes, so $5. And when you complete it, you get 20% of that back, which is just 10. Going to Tier 2, you have 100 cubes, it costs, and you get 20 back when you complete it. Tier 3, it unlocks with 500 cubes, you get 100 back. And Tier 4, you guessed it, 1,000 cubes and 200 back. And I know this is going to sound expensive up front because like the Active Directory PowerView class cost $100, but keep in mind you get $20 back when you complete it. And if you did the subscription plan, you had a discount when you did cubes. And this is more than just PowerView. It's just mainly about PowerView. 
And I worked with Ben on that course, and we tried to not use PowerView because I know a lot of people don't want to use it because it's deprecated. But we spent like a week trying to do everything in .NET that we could do in PowerView and just couldn't. So until we know a better way to do some things, we just left it at PowerView, even though it's not being updated. We believe that some group's going to take over PowerView and it'll get updates just like um, PowerShell Empire did when it got deprecated. So for now, I think PowerView is still a super relevant thing to learn. And additionally, even if you didn't get any discounts, the Active Directory course, if we look at all three modules, it's going to be around $250, which when you compare that to other websites, in order to learn like an Active Directory course, it's going to cost more than that. And the modules do go pretty in depth. So we can click on like this Bloodhound one that goes an overview of Bloodhound data collection and then doing data collection with Python, analyzing data. And whenever you see this icon, that means there's going to be a lab with it. The lab's really cool. It uses Pwnbox, so you don't have to do a VM. You can VPN if you want. So it just gives you that interactive browser session. In addition to that, it spawns some customized lab for you to interact with. So the Bloodhound one is going to spawn a Active Directory lab for you to run Bloodhound against. Um, and after that, there is a chapter on creating custom cipher queries. It's going to go into some that are just not default that you'd want to do. Um, this is just super handy. If you do the module, it'll explain more. Um, and then a skills assessment at the end to make sure you um, understood what you just learned. So this is kind of like an open book exam that you can just go back and take as many times as you want. Um, can't show you that because it does cost money. So let's just look at a example module and tier zero, which will be the introduction to Academy. So I'm going to click unlock and we'll unlock it for 10 cubes and then start this module. And we can see this is going to give us the instruction. Uh, a path goes into a module and each module is divided into sections. So this is the introduction to Academy module. And then the sections are over here to the right. So this is talking about what a path is. We should know that what a module is and what a section is. So we can just mark this complete and go to next. And then when we click continue on that main dashboard page, it's going to bring us right back to section because we it knows we completed the introduction. Uh, workstation, it's talking about Pwnbox. Again, you can use the one that's provided for you or you can uh, VPN in with your own OS. And then it's talking about the interactive section with the icon next to it. And the next one's going to be an interactive section. I think this one just has, yeah, a single question. So this isn't going to be any um, like Pwnbox interactive right now, but there is a cheat sheet with a question to kind of help you along. And then there's also a hint that says this is case sensitive. So it wants the name of the module, which is going to be Introduction to Academy. And we can submit, and we see it's incorrect. So uh, maybe this T is capital because the hint was case sensitive. Nope. Uh, oh, the first section of the module. The very first section is introduction. Helps if I read the question. That's embarrassing. But we can click submit, and then we get three cubes back because we completed the question. So we can mark complete and go next. And then we got a interactive section with a terminal. So we can just click start instance. And this is going to start our workstation. I think the workstation by default is alive for two hours once you click start. And it probably takes around 45 seconds to start. So it's telling us to start, uh, locate the bash icon, then do you name A. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into Chrome because I just have better luck with Chrome with doing some of these things. So I'm going to go over and start Chrome browser. I just did Alt F2 to launch that. And we'll have that running. We can click this full screen button. We can also reset it. Oh, it's um, 60 minutes when we spawn the workstation. And then we can click this to extend the life. But I click full screen. I'm just going to copy this link. And we're going to go over to Chrome and paste the link. So we have or workstation in both. Um, it wants the question based upon the command you executed, 
what is likely to be the operating system flavor for this instance. If we look at hint, it's going to tell us it's the name of a bird. So I'm going to click on this bash icon and we're going to do what the cheat sheet said and just draw an uname a. And I see this says parrot. So I'm going to click this and we'll copy to see if we can copy out of this. Oh, we can. So Firefox is letting me copy out. The cursor is a bit ugly there. I don't like the cursor. If we switched over to Chrome, the cursor is better. And again, copying works here. And if you ever have trouble with copying, you can always click this icon in the bottom right. Browser's are always finicky when you copy from like VNC sessions. So this just helps you uh, to copy. So let's see, what is the flavor of this instance? It's gonna be parrot. Then we can submit the flag and move to the next module. And we got three cubes back. So I'm guessing this module is gonna give us four cubes back because we got six already. So the workstation is already spawned. So let's see what the question is. What is the proof text displayed on the target website you browsed? So I'm gonna click there to spawn the instance. And this already spawned the machine for us to attack. So it gave us this link. And I'm gonna switch over to Chrome. I don't know why it's not full screen, why the resolution screwed up here. Maybe we'll just, there we go. I just had to move my browser for it to resize. And I pressed F11 to full screen. So I'm going to go into Mozilla and I'm going to paste. Uh, let's copy this again. Copy, switch to Chrome. The one thing that's a little bit annoying in Pwnbox is I don't think uh, Alt-Tab works. So right-click, paste. We do have it working there. So I'm just going to do Control-V to paste. And we see the proof is targets. So I'm just going to copy this, Alt-Tab over to Firefox, and paste this in. And then we can mark this one complete and move next. We did get four cubes back. And this is going over what modules is, what the cost of each module is, the to-do list explaining that stopping and starting the workstation, and what a skill assessment is. But this should be relatively self-explanatory based upon my descriptions, I hope. So we're just going to mark this complete and move next. Here we're talking about paths like the Active Directory and Modern Web Attack. And then the conclusion is just going to be talking more about how it's organized and letting us know to have fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of exactly what Academy is. Hopefully it does help you all and um, take care and I'll see you all next time.